One of the biggest things we're seeing throughout this outbreak is flexibility, right? Parents pinch hitting for teachers, businesses letting employees work from home, and now the federal government is getting in on that movement, extending the deadline to get your taxes done. Our Mike Brookbank breaks down what it means for you and your wallet. A procrastinator's dream come true. It's really a, a good move. As the typical mad dash to get taxes filed by the April 15th deadline. All this comes as a relief to everybody. Gets pushed back to July 15th because of fallout from the coronavirus. Reduces the pressures that we have to finalize or extend all the clients. Certified public accountant Mike Simic now has an extra 91 days to get his clients' taxes complete. Ohio is a piggyback state, so they do follow the IRS guidelines, so it's gonna be automatically extended for the state too. Simic tells me for many taxpayers, the risk of getting sick is keeping them at home. Especially this week, uh, canceling the face-to-face -face -face appointments. The extension will allow taxpayers and businesses additional time to not only file, but make payments without interest or penalties. I'm hoping that that's going to also encourage the clients to delay the visit. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says this move leaves $300 billion in the hands of Americans to help keep them afloat during this economic emergency. So what we're seeing is some governmental generosity here and consideration and compassion. That's all people want. In addition to the state of Ohio following suit, Simic expects those who pay the regional income tax, or RITA, will also get extra time. A few taxpayers we caught up with. I want to get it over with. Not interested in taking advantage of the extension. By next week, we might be in a lockdown. When I contemplated doing taxes, even though the extension was in place, um, I needed to get here as soon as possible, being in the age range I am. As he watched businesses across town shudder to maintain social distance. We were concerned that they may also shut us down. Simic hoped that he'd be able to maintain operations since his office generates payroll checks for about 200 small businesses across Northeast Ohio. We're going to be open for, uh, for that reason. Reporting in Parma, Mike Brookbank, News 5.